Welcome to Tengsen Invest. We're talking about investing, finance, and professional development. Uh, so, current time of 8.42 a.m. on the Eastern Time, it's up country $2,080, up about 1.31% so far. Respect over crypto market, see clearly on this Sunday morning, is relatively green. Uh, it seems like investors are digesting the previous CPI and the PPI report, um, you know, I guess digestively, um, you know, solvable in a way, um, in a way that uh, foreshadowing some sort of a relief um, and uh, I guess normalization in terms of, you know, the previous mental uh, roller coaster that have been uh, on the ride of. And what's next for the uh, roller coaster ride that we'll be expecting next week? Look at the schedule. There are a couple of things that we need to be looking out for. Um, with respect to the main events coming out again on Tuesday coming up, um, and the star of this movie again is Jerome Powell, which is the Fed's chairman, and he's basically slated to be speaking at the Wall Street Journal conference. Um, so obviously, with him uh, being in the centerpiece of this conference, investors or the journalists that's going to be asking for questions that are relatively obvious, right? Are we going to be hiking the interest rate from fifty basis point to seventy five basis point? Are the economists' uh, expectations of reaching a hundred basis point even if, you know is it even fundamentally logical um, going forward, right? And with respect to the um, you know some of the snapshots or outlook with respect to the next FOMC meeting in June, which is gonna lay I believe in mid June, and then subsequently in July as well, and then we have a gap until September. Um, so are we gonna see rates? you know, increase in June, in July, and then, you know, you might have a summer break and then hike again um, in September. We don't know, right? So we'll see how that goes, right? With respect to his verbiage. So I do see some volatility uh, ahead uh, coming. So we'll just, you know, keep an eye out on it. Um, it seems like the collective uh, observation is um, knowing the fact that the conference lays on Tuesday, We'll see how the market will react on, you know, obviously uh, on Monday. Um, and obviously the equity side will have some correlation effects onto driving, uh, uh, you know, a direct correlation onto crypto. So we'll see how that will go. But also with respect to some um, uh, corporate earnings report that's also coming out next week, that will have some drivers uh, onto the, the, um, the consumer and the producer uh, purchasing uh, or um, you know exchanging behavior that will triangulate onto the impact of inflationary pressure would be uh, earnings coming from Walmart, uh, Home Depot, and Target. So these will give us good insights um, onto you know the foreshadow with respect to job numbers, which is the direct mandate from the Fed, but also with respect to interest rate hikes. Um, and because of these type of signals and hints from these corporate companies combined with Jerome Powell's verbiage, which I you know believe is still relatively premature at this point, we still because we just had the FOMC meeting. We're in mid May. We're basically a month away from June. So if he says something crazy, you know, like oh yeah, I think uh, we are treading water, you know, logically, but I think raising the rates might be possible. Then you know we're gonna be in for another sell off. Uh, going back down further, um, despite collectively the market is extremely overvalued. I mean, undervalued. Sorry, um, you know, on the stock side, it's just crazy, crazy cheap. Um, and also with respect to Ethereum, uh, selling down. You know, close to about like forty percent down so far. Um, so let's just uh, dive into the technicals without wasting more time. With respect to recording time of eight forty-seven a.m. on the Eastern time. We are in between levels again, right? 2150 versus 2000, right? We are above 2050, so it's a flat number, but we don't count that one because it's a flat number. The level we need to get up to, based on historical uh, substantiveness, is 2150. So we see how that goes. And I think, you know, with respect to what's going to happen on Tuesday, we'll see how that goes with respect to on Monday. Um, if we have some negative reaction, and then Jerome doesn't say anything exogenously, um, you know, misaligned with 
our expectation, uh, or if he say something more extreme, right? Um, you know, indicating that yeah, it's possible that we'll hike it again. Then yeah, we're gonna be in for back of a sell off. But in terms of um, let's just say, you know, Wall Street forgives it, right? And it's aligned, and he's being relatively diplomatic. Then we could technically just um come back up, you know, logically um to attempt to go back up to this uh you know channel that we were forming before. With respect to Bitcoin, uh, about one percent. You can see that we clearly back up to that level, uh, thirty two out of seventy right now, curving up. So. Um, you know, investors are just digesting the previous news that we've had, the CPI and the PPI report, um, and some, you know, rumor around the heights. So we'll get the confirmatory signal. If we get positive signal aligns with our expectation, we should again, like, go back up to 32,600, right? That's the next level leap up, and then all the way up to the 35,000, right? The uh, Ethereum Classic, we are also. You know, normalizing could, could break back up. Um, you can see that next level we need to get up to is 23.75 from here. Respect to Dogecoin, just quickly go over this. Going up to the next level, which is uh, $10, which is the next real level that we need to get up to. Cardano, next level that we need to get up to is somewhere around $0.62. Cents. And then the next level will be somewhere around $0.74. Uh, right now, it seems like it's covering back up, you know. Uh, but is it sustainable, right? We will see on Tuesday and subsequently with respect to some of the corporate earnings uh, that will be laid around, I would say it's relatively diversified next week. And with respect to uh, Solana, about 12%, um, curving back up, levitating between 71 and 49. So the next level we need to get up to is be some, somewhere around 65 and then 71 from here. But 65 is not a real level, it's just a flat number, right? So 71 will be the real level. XRP up about 6.4%, uh, going up to the next level, to 57. But, uh, you know, 50 will be a flat number, which is, makes sense, right? We're still extremely submerged at 28 out of 70 right now. So anywhere from current level up um, would be the next resistance levels. Polkadot uh, up 9%. Going up to the next level will be 1340. Algorand up about 9%. Uh, next level would be somewhere around 57 and we are showing some signs of curvature already, so it seems like we're reversing nicely. Shiba Inu, next level is 1400, right? We know this already. So 2100, 1400, 900. And it seems like the, the trend is still relatively bearish. It's not the most um, bullish one in comparison to other ones. MacTag up about 1.4%. Uh, the next level is uh, 79, 80. Basically, it's a flat number. And then you need to get up to uh, 97. So it's a lot of flat numbers, uh, kind of coincides with the resistance levels. Respect to AVAX, about 2%. Uh, the next level we need to get up to will be 45. But, um, you know, as we get above this, uh, we might get canceled out. But the real, real level we need to get about is 50. And then trade between the 59 and 50. And you see the reason that we sold off to be in this severe level is because we broke a resistance levels that's relatively substantive, right? 50, right? So, um, you know, recuperating back up, we're still very submerged at 28 out of 70 at the moment. All right, so hope you guys have a great rest of the Sunday. Um, and thank you again for the Netflix recommendation last night. I actually ended up uh, watching um, I, Tanya, which I never saw it. But it's a relatively good movie, you know, around this uh, Olympic skater. Um, you know, it was a... That, and I, I believe... Um, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched like uh, snapshots of it because I was like uh, exchanging emails at the same time. I was like, um, I, I don't know. I didn't focus entirely, but it was a relatively good one like with respect to the cinematics. And I was surprised. Um, it was like kind of like a true underdog story. I don't want to spoil it too much, but uh, uh, I, I would agree if you, you know, uh, watch the movie, you would agree with me as well. Um, but yeah, appreciate you. Have a good rest of the Sunday. And uh, I'm going to head out to the gym now. And uh, take care. Bye.